Hey guys, it's Princess Desera. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am really tired, so excuse the low energy. I feel really, really sleepy, but I have to get this done. So, um, I'm doing like a mini room transformation. We're doing some upgrades in my room, some reorganizing. So I don't know if I'm going to do different parts to this or if I'm going to include everything in one video. I'm not sure yet, but for now I think I'm just going to keep it as one video. So let's get this started. So first let me just show you what we're working with. As we can see, everything just looks like a disaster. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to make it look less of a disaster within these next few days that I'm getting things to make it look a little bit better. And we're going to reorganize the whole room. So this is the plan. So I'm upgrading my bed because the bed is way too small for me. It's uncomfortable now and I hardly can sleep. And that's why I'm so tired right now. Um, so we're going to get a queen size bed and everything so but that is not going to be over here anymore I'm going to have to move it over here I don't like the idea of being right beside the door but that's the only way it's going to work because I have my pictures up here and I'm going to get two shelves for like my perfumes and stuff like everything because it's all over the room right now we have perfumes lotions candles um everything more soaps over there we have some soaps in in one of those containers or a couple of those containers um so we're gonna try to keep it all in one spot so i'm going to get two new shelves um this time they're going to be white because i'm trying to keep it like the same theme as much as I can because there's some things that aren't getting upgraded that are still a different color like this and like that closet's gonna have to remain a different color but everything else I want to try to keep it all white so we're gonna get rid of this especially because it is bending because it's not strong enough to support the amount of things I have so we are going to get taller shelves as well. They're going to be taller. So that's why I can't put them over here and keep them over here. Um, at the same time, since I'm getting a wider bed, it can't fit on this wall. This wall is actually too small. It's too small to fit a whole queen size bed. So that's why the only one that works right now is this wall. So it's okay. And then... My desk and my calendar is going to have to move on that wall, that wall right here. And then this is going to stay where it is. This is going to get upgraded. I don't like how it looks. So we're going to get like one of those Ikea looking drawer things to organize it um, better. And so it looks better too. And that's going to be moved over there somewhere with my desk. It's hard to like really visualize everything. Like I did do my measurements, but I might not like it where I actually intended to put it for some things because it's hard when the room's already like when there's already stuff in the room. It's easier when you're like just moving into the room and everything's empty because then you could it's just easier. But that's not the case, so I kind of have to work with what I have and what's already done and what can't move and what can move, and so it's a little bit hard. So, but that's just the plan for now. And then my drawers over here are just going to get shifted down a little bit more because my little side table there, I want to put it beside my bed. So I'm going to try to fit it in the corner, but it's just going to have to, like the drawers are just going to have to move down. Um, and then hopefully, because my my new bed is actually going to have some drawers on the side, so I'm going to try to get rid of all those clothes on top. I know I can't fold. I'm going to have to watch a video when I do this reorganizing stuff, um, to learn how to fold because <laughs> it's just not going to work. 
um, how I have it. It just looks really sloppy. So we're going to learn. And then, yeah, so then maybe that will free up some space to put maybe some of the purses that I have that can actually stand. I'll probably put some on the top there. Um, and if I can move these soaps, it will free up some room to put maybe some purses or a couple of shoes here too. Um, and then those blankets, I have a few there. Some of them I'm getting rid of. I have others right now in the wash and stuff. So, um... I'm going to get rid of because I don't need them anymore. The bedding is ugly. I'm getting rid of it. So, yes, we're just going to wash and then we're going to donate them. Um, so, I think that's, that's it. It's just like the little things that I have around my room, like my chair. Because there's not really anywhere to put that. Um, and then my ring light and my tripod. I don't know where that's going to go. It's just going to have to all fall into place later when I start getting everything here. So I'm not sure about any of that yet. And then for my... So this is where the shelves are going to be on this wall. So this wall here. Um, there's going to be two tall white shelves. I'm not going to put them directly beside each other because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mirror like in the middle of it. We'll just see how everything goes, but that's just the plan for now. And then maybe I'll actually be able to put this lamp, <laughs> this lamp somewhere because it's been there ever since I moved and it's just been a stand for my um, mirror and hopefully I can get my mirror mounted. So yes, change your plans. We're going to keep this here for now. Um, we're going to have to end up moving these pictures, even though I like them right here. They're going to have to get moved over here. Um, anyways, so we're going to actually focus on moving my little drawer, th drawer things over here. Um, we're going to move that and we're going to move my desk. And we're going to move my mirror and everything. We're going to have to move it to this side of the room. Maybe for now I'll put like my bed sideways or something over here. Just so there's still space in the middle to build the actual bed frame when it comes in soon actually. Um, yeah, so let's get that started because I'm running out of time before they come with the delivery. I just saw some huge spider looking thing. I don't know what it was. I didn't spend too much time to investigate. I just vacuumed it up. But I'm still a little bit traumatized. But I have to hurry up because I have to get this stuff done.
So my desk is all put together. I'm satisfied with that. One thing down. Um, this I just put in the corner for now. I might not need it later because when my shelves come, everything might be gone. Same with this stuff here. Um, the problem right now is that my side table, of course, cannot fit beside my bed because my door is right there. Um, so when my actual bed comes, it's probably going to be about this length because it's a queen size bed. This is just a twin bed going sideways. <laughs> so when my queen size bed comes, um, it's probably going to be about that wide and the side table won't fit, especially because I have drawers on the sides. So I have to make sure I'm able to open the drawers. Um, so what I planned on doing is for this closet it actually can like you can actually make it smaller so basically this whole gap um like we can actually make these shelves on the top come together so there's no gap and then with the drawers that are attached to my bed um my bed frame i'm gonna try to put as much as i can of these folded clothes folded clothes I'm gonna put them in there and then hopefully I have space too to put some of my pants in there because if I do that then I can actually because there's not going to be enough space when I when I bring it together then there's not going to be enough space for all the jackets to be on one pole um, and there's not going to be enough space for all the pants to be on that pole because it's going to be smaller and I'm not going to have room so, since I be folding most of my pants, or maybe even all of them, depends on how it goes, then I would just bring some of these sweaters down. So everything will fit. It will just be jackets and sweaters on here, basically. Or maybe a little bit of pants, just depending on how everything fits. Um, and yeah, because even if anything, I can, because I'm going to free up these things on the side, I might have space to fold some clothes and put it there. So I feel like at the end of the day, it'll work out. And with it being like, with it being like smaller after I'm done everything, I'll be able to put my side table, um, probably I'll put it over here. And then I have a mirror that I'll just mount over top of the, um, the side table. So it's just going to be mounted on the top. And yeah, I think it will work out that way. Other than that, the side table would probably have to go on the foot of my bed. Because really, I don't, like, I know everyone has, like, nightstands and stuff like that on the side of their beds. But personally, I don't think I need one. And if I do, actually, it just depends on how my bed's looking tomorrow for me to decide. Because I might be able to get... No, because that's where the door opens. The door can't open right now because I have all that stuff behind there, but hopefully I'm able to clear some of the space up so it doesn't look so cluttered on the doors. Um, focus, yeah. So, but it, depending on how it looks, I may be, no, I can't get a nightstand anyway, even if it's a small one because I have drawers now drawers so anyways it doesn't matter i don't need a nightstand um so we're gonna figure that out so off camera though i'm just gonna get rid of everything that's left on the floor on the floor and on my bed i'm just gonna put some of the stuff is going into the garbage other stuff is what i'm saving for when um my drawers come my tall skinny drawers you guys will see it anyway tomorrow um but it's gonna be like a better thing to replace this because i don't like how it looks at all um yeah so i'm just there's just a few things i'm gonna put in a bag and other things are, are just gonna go in the garbage and what i might also do off camera is i might have to take all of this stuff off and just put it in a bin for now until those um, shelves come like I think it's coming like next week but until those shelves come I might have to keep this stuff here in a bin 
problem is because the drawers, I wanted it to go in that corner. So it's either going to, there's going to have to be a, because the problem, sorry, there's a lot I have to say. So the problem is my room is just an awkward shape. So it makes everything a little bit more difficult. There's like weird corners and, and stuff. So it's not like a square or rectangle or anything like that. It's weird. It's awkward. So that's the problem. Otherwise, decorating this would have been so much easier. Anyways, um... So, the new drawers for this is either going to go in the corner, like, on an angle. There might be a gap behind it, but I don't really care. I'll just, it's okay. So, it might just be, like, put in the corner like that. Or, if I move this down, my dresser down, then I can probably put it, like, against the wall, and then the drawers will be coming out that way. Um, when I open them, and I think that's probably, hmm, either way, these have to come off, so I'm just going to put them in a bin, and I'm trying to think, and I kind of feel like I should just leave it like this, I should just leave the dresser where it is, and like I said, I'll probably just put the drawers on a like on a on an angle. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of decisions to make, and there's a lot of things that I'm changing around as I go. Um, so, but either way, I think everything will work out. Hey guys, I'm back for the second day. I'm going to show you guys what I have to do. I'm going to donate some clothes so I have to actually sort through that. But let me just show you what's going on right now and what we're going to tackle today. Um, so yeah, so we have some recycle bags that I'm going to use to sort through all of my clothes here. And then the ones at the bottom. Um, cause yeah, I'm just trying to make as much room. So I have to really be realistic and really be true to myself and let myself know that there's certain things here that I will never wear and there will never be an occasion that I want to wear it. So we're going to have to let go.
I didn't get rid of that much because I already did a declutter like a couple months ago off camera. So I just got rid of everything else that I wanted to for now, which was not that many things. So I got two bags here. Um, one I'm going to donate, that one I'm going to donate, and then I have one for my sister. As you guys did see, I minimized this closet thing and my jackets and sweaters fit perfectly on both of the poles. And up there is not what it's going to look like. I'm just going to take that off and put them into the drawers attached to my bed. Um, I actually never went into the closet with you guys. So I have, it's almost like a storage too because I don't have that, like there's things that I didn't want out and there's things that I had nowhere to put outside of the closet so I have to like kind of shove it in here, especially like because I have some equipment like for my camera and stuff so that stuff can't, you know, can't really come out or there'll be more clutter than there already is. So. We're going to try to reorganize it to make it look a little bit better. I did, this is like the stuff from the closet, some of the stuff. Some of the stuff um, I'm going to put, like I'm going to donate. And then, yeah, then we're going to reorganize this. And I kind of like, it was nicely folded, but I kind of just like went through it just now just to find things to donate. So we're going to have to refold all of that and then reorganize this. Okay, so I finished in here. It looks a little bit better now. Well, a lot better, I think. Um, and then down below, there's a little bit, it's a little bit more organized. But I put my water and my hygiene empties box in here because it's in the way. I might keep them in here because I actually don't mind them being here. So that might be a permanent thing for now. So it's out of the way. Um, and then I have my robe hung up behind um, the door. So yeah, I think everything is okay in here. And I'm fine with it because I don't, I can just close the door and I don't have to see it anyway. So that's why when it gets messy, I don't even mind because I can't see. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I think this is perfect for now. Baby, you can 
I'm done everything I need to do for today. When I tell you guys I'm about to have the best sleep ever, I needed a bigger bed so I can have more space. A better bed because this one's now memory foam. I also bought new memory foam pillows so that's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. I feel like I'm at a hotel. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. And I just put my heated blanket on the side for now because um, I don't know where to put it yet. I might fold it and put it under in one of the drawers because it seems like there's some space. Anyways, um, we'll figure it out later and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So I'm done the drawers. I'm happy with my results. Um, the only thing with the drawers itself is that it's not on wheels like a regular drawer, like so it can slide in and out easily. So it's a little bit weird, but it's okay. I don't mind. And yeah, and I had these pink um, organization things from before, and I didn't want to throw them out just because I got the clear ones because they're a lot bigger and see I was able to use it for things like this so they were still good um, so yeah now on to doing other things
while I wait, I'm going to start decluttering some of my candles. I'm not going to do the full thing um, on camera because even though it's going to be sped up, it's still going to be a long, long video in general because I have so much to do in this room. But um, So I'm trying to do as much as I can off camera. But I'm going to do this off camera and I'll show you guys the end result after. So the shelf is just about done. Um, in the meantime, I'm trying to sort out my Bath & Body Works and what I don't want. It's a mini declutter, so it's not going to be anything like huge um, for right now. So I plan on keeping basically all of these unless I come across a couple that I realize I didn't want. But so far I have like literally only a little bit inside of this box. And that's just for Bath & Body Works. I know there's a couple other things, maybe not perfumes or anything like that, but lotions and some soaps I want to get rid of. So they're all going to at least go into one or two boxes and then I'm going to give them away. I might need another box because these are like not fitting. Um, and I should have showed you guys before I got rid of them, but I did, when I was doing the clothes, I did donate about like almost like 10 bags of clothes and blankets and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I have about almost four boxes of product I'm giving away. I added some more. So I added some lotions, some Bath and Body Works shower gels, um, just some random stuff. I, there's a couple candles in there too.
Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
So now we're going to be working on my snack bar. Everything that was on here, like juice, water, and a few chocolates that I had here just to start, they're all gone. And every time I stocked up my water over here, I finished everything. So now we're actually going to stock everything up for real. We bought everything we need for right now. Um, so they're all in this bag and some are on this desk here. After I do the snack bar, all I have to do is put up my pictures and my mirror. But I'm not sure if I want to change the mirror. I keep on being indecisive, literally with everything in this room. So I don't know if I'm going to change it or not, but you guys will see. Same with the bench I'm supposed to get, the storage bench. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but you guys are going to see that too. Um, I actually got my tissue box holder. I was looking, I literally bought the acrylic ones, the clear acrylic ones. Um, I bought it twice. The first time it came like dirty and scratched up and I couldn't open it. So I returned it and bought a different one. And then that one came all cracked and broken. And I was like, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm done with those. And I don't want to take another chance. So I just went with this like marble one. And yeah, so I think that's it. And so we're gonna get this snack bar started. So the room is complete. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And I know there's some things here that you guys can see that I haven't mentioned yet. Some upgrades that I made off camera. But I'm going to go through all of those in a moment. So for the room tour, it's not going to be in this video because the video is already crazy long because of all the stuff I had to do and all the details that I put into this. So. Um, it's going to be in a separate video and it will be linked down below once it's out. So yeah. So now let me show you guys all of the stuff that I upgraded off camera. First I'm going to start with my mirror. I did decide to get a new mirror because I always wanted this mirror but I was being too cheap to buy it and I figured now um, since I'm already upgrading my room let me just get it. And the one before was really small and skinny so I was like let me get an actual mirror um, that I can see like my full self in, not half of my body <laughs> basically. So yeah, and it has like all these diamonds around, it's really pretty. And I, I know it's like by the door so it might not make sense to you guys but um, I added a door stopper just in case like the door gets open too wide so it doesn't hit like the mirror itself. But I don't open the door all the way. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't, I don't open doors all the way. I just open it enough for me to get through. And I don't need to open it all the way to the wall to get through. So, so I just have it like this and yeah, so I'm happy with where it is because it makes more sense to put it here because originally I think I told you guys I wanted it over there, but it didn't make much sense to have it over there. Because I couldn't really like walk to it when it's against that wall. I had to like stand in one spot. Um, so anyways, I did get like a small garbage can too that I put over here. Um, I got this YouTube plaque off of Etsy. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's for like the background of my TikToks and stuff like that. And I just put it here for now. This is not like a permanent spot. I'm just going to move it around wherever I need it or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, then I got this really nice storage bench. I'm really happy that it came in good condition because a lot of the reviews were saying that it came ripped, 
it had marks on it, all kinds of horror stories. So I was really afraid to get this. And it was a heavy, heavy, heavy box. So to return it if something was wrong would have just, I don't know, that's a lot of work. So um, I'm happy it came in good condition and I was one of the lucky customers to get a good bench. And then I added like a nice little white rug, a fur rug, just to go at the bottom, well the foot of my bed basically. Um, because I didn't really want like a full one. Like I know like sometimes some people like to have like rugs that go like under their bed. Like part of it's under their bed and stuff. Like a big full rug. But I didn't really want one like that. So I just got one just for the foot of my bed. And then I got like a clear mat to put here. Because it's just for my chair. Because sometimes like without the mat if you keep on going back and forth in your chair a lot if you find that you're always at your desk and you're always going back and forth on the wheels sometimes it can wear out the floor so I invested in getting a mat so that doesn't happen because no one wants that to happen so I got a clear mat recommend and then I put like this like I did like a little center thing um, on my desk and then I added a headphone holder and then I got like this wooden, um, this white wooden twisted decoration to put on my desk too. And then I got like a hook, like it came in a pack but I only needed one but who knows I might need the other ones down the road who knows. So just to like put my towel on here because I didn't really want my towel, my towel anywhere else. So I just put it on the side here and then I moved my tissue box over here just so it's closer to my bed and then I added this little decoration um, tray on my side table because it was just empty with just the lamp it just seems so simple so I just want to add something else on there something small so um I got like a an A that lights up as you can see and then I added like this is just a candle that I already had and then I added like a fake fake flowers at the back um so originally it wasn't supposed to look like this. The A was supposed to be just on the table alone. And then everything else was supposed to be there. But that twisted decoration piece was supposed to be in this tray. But it was a little bit bigger than I thought. So I kind of had to improvise. But I'm okay with how it looks right now. Um, and then I got a chair, a new chair. Because I had like a black chair and it was uncomfortable so I hardly sat on it for my videos um but it was $30 so it made sense but since I hardly sat down it didn't really phase me to upgrade it but I decided to upgrade it anyway um and it matches like a little bit more with the theme of my room so I'm happy with that and then I got my pictures put up the only thing that I wish is that it wasn't like there wasn't a black border because a kind of like if it was like something different like a light gray or a white it would have looked a lot better with my room since my room is a little bit brighter now because of all the white in the room but it's okay it doesn't really phase me that much and I love my pictures so it's not like I'm gonna get rid of them just because it has a black border um so it's fine and I don't think there's anything else I need to show you guys so stay tuned for the video if there's anything else that I missed I will put it in that room tour so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching my whole room transformation I know it was a lot um, but thank you guys for watching it it really did work out in the end I'm really happy with how my room looks this is how I always wanted it to look so I'm really happy right now and yeah so I'll see you guys in the room tour